There is a technique you can employ which will really enhance your voiceover performance. And it's called tempo rubato. Now, musicians and singers have been using it for generations. And what it is, is simply messing around with time, elongating some sentences and phrases and shortening others. And doing it in such a way that it really enriches the overall sound of the uh, delivery that, that, that you're giving. A good example of this would be, this is from the singing world, a good example would be Frank Sinatra. So when he was singing, he would play around with the phrasing, very kind of, kind of hold some words, he would speed up some phrases, then he would reduce it, you know, slow it down a little bit. And it gave it this lovely character that was very much him, but he was messing around with the timing of the, of the delivery, really. And we can employ the same technique in voiceover. So let me try and give you a demonstration. In this script here, I'm going to try and do it without actually employing tempo rubato, which is quite difficult for me because I'm doing it all the time. But let me see if I can demonstrate what it would sound like without it. In the future, following the Third World War, peace is the only desire. But it comes at a price. No art, no music, no feelings, no love. Humans cannot be trusted. Their emotions need to be eradicated. The police have total control. Poets, artists and musicians must be imprisoned. Welcome to a terrifying world. Welcome to your worst nightmare. So it was a bit flat, wasn't it? A bit uninteresting. Everything delivered at pretty much the same pace. So now let's employ tempo rubato and see if we can improve the sound of it. Let's drill down a little bit into the script itself. So in the future, following the Third World War. So if I go in the future as an, almost a statement, and then that's quite slow. And then the next bit, I speed up. In the future, following the Third World War, and then I'm going to do this word, peace, very, very slowly. Peace is the only desire. So it sounds like, in the future, following the Third World War, peace is the only desire. And then I want to speed up for this line, but it comes at a price. No art, and then slow down for this one. No art. No music, no feelings, lovely big gap there, no love. And I can slow no love down as well. Maybe speed up again for this next line. Humans cannot be trusted. Their emotions need to be eradicated. Maybe slow down again for the second half. And they're more evenly paced on this line. The police have total control. Let me try that one again. The police have total control. So kind of medium paced. And then this one, poets, artists and musicians must be imprisoned. Quite slow for that. And then I can probably speed up for this uh, penultimate bit. Welcome to a terrifying world. Welcome to your worst nightmare. So I can sort of slow down there. All I was doing was just speeding up, slowing down and feeling it. There's no kind of... I, I suppose you can't kind of write it down as a law. You can't say, well, you, you better do it like this. It's one, one fast line followed by one slow line. It doesn't work like that. It's just feeling how it should be and being playful with the script as well. What I've done is put a little video together with my final recording and added some music. And you can hopefully just pick up on the tempo rubato in that. So let's take a look. In the future, following the Third World War, peace is the only desire, but it comes at a price. No art, no music, no feelings, no love. Humans cannot be trusted. Their emotions need to be eradicated. The police have total control. Poets, artists and musicians must be imprisoned. Welcome to a terrifying world. Welcome to your worst nightmare. The key takeaway is don't deliver everything at the same pace. Really mix up those tempos and your voiceovers will be all the better for it. Thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice. See you next time.